here, it's Julie Kinnear of the Julie Kinnear team with Keller Williams Neighborhood Realty. And the other day, my goddaughter was interviewing me for a school project and she was asking me my definition of success. And certainly for the JKT, our definition of success is a raving fan, somebody who loves telling us, telling everybody about our experience, their experience, and, uh, you know, of course, repeating with us and uh, referring us to their loved ones. Uh, today, I thought I'd tell you a little bit of a story of some clients who were really thrilled with their experience. Uh, they were a young family who lived in Roncesvalles. Uh, they had a house, a small house, and they were ready to move up, had a couple of kids. And uh, the big thing is their question was, do we buy first or do we sell first? So the first thing we do when we uh, meet a new client is we sit down at their house. I remember actually sitting at their dining room table and really spending a good long time talking with them. And that's why, you know, their question of buying first and selling first, it's not a cut and dry answer. And it's really important that we get to know our clients personal needs, every unique, every scenario is unique, and then we can answer the question, do we buy first or do we sell first? And we can give you the options and we can give you some, you know, answers and, and uh, take away some of those fears and concerns for you. For example, when you're buying first, obviously, you're committing to two properties, you're going to be owning two. Does that mean bridge financing? How much is bridge financing? These are the kind of questions that we can answer and help you, you know, understanding the financial parts of it. Um, of course, there's, you know, that concern of what if it doesn't sell uh, for as much. So when you buy first and your properties, you know, we haven't sold it yet. We don't know exactly how much it's going to sell for. What is our plan B? So we want to make sure you're comfortable in these scenarios and all that kind of stuff. So, for example, when you're selling first, there's questions, you know, it's a risk, right? Everything is a risk. There, we have to balance it out and it's all based on you and your particular scenario. So I remember we were discussing, OK, so we sell first. Great. We've done well, but you're going to be homeless. You know, the kids are going to be, you know, out of, you know, what, what's going to happen? Where can you stay? How long is it going to take to find a new place? Um, you know, so things that our team, for example, can help you with. We can write specific clauses in, in, in an offer that will give that option of extending the closing if you haven't found something. We can make sure we sell it with a good long closing so it gives you that time to buy. We can make sure you're out looking at properties while we're preparing your house for sale so that you get comfortable in the market, you understand how much things cost and you understand what your budget is and whether it's realistic or not. And then we, you know, you'll feel more comfortable. But again, it's us helping you, giving you that advice and guidance. We're here to guide and protect you through the whole process.